coming with motivation and having to fail on your first day was not something easy for me to take or anyone. You know, interpret aeronautical engineering is only dealing with aero aircraft stuff or aeroplanes. Now, aeronautical engineering has to do with everything that is both mechanical and anything that goes through fluids. So some students, they left the course, it's difficult, you know, others, they do it in nine years, eight years at some point, right? So, like, uh, uh, what was your strategy, your studying method? Um, so my study method is, um, what I can say is listen to the people, your predecessors, but do not believe everything they say, you know, yeah, whatever that happened to them, it doesn't mean it will happen to you. Everyone is living their own life. So if somehow they were, uh, hello, hello guys, and uh, welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is Gift, uh, Bozekana. Uh, I'm at Vets University, you know, so I know that it's the first time today I bring a student that is studying uh, aeronautical uh, engineering you know you know you asked me to bring a student who's doing this course so I brought him and he's currently doing his final year oh can you introduce yourself to my uh, viewers at home uh, my name is Mawande Mgadi uh, I'm doing my final year in aeronautical engineering yeah final year but fifth year that's so I know don't, don't, don't worry we do understand, we do understand, yeah, yeah. but finally you made it to your, to your final year of aeronautical engineering. Yeah, yeah, true. So, um, your final year in aeronautical engineering at Vets University, right? Yes, yes, yes. So let's, let's take it back. Which subject did you do in your high school? Uh, in my high school, I did general physics, which was physics, the one you know. Mm -hmm. um, did mathematics, I did life sciences and geography. Then languages, which was Isizul home language, English, uh, first additional language, and life orientation. Yeah, there were oh, seven. Okay, you did seven subjects. Yeah, so you did well in your metric, right? Yeah, I can say relatively I did well. How well was this? Uh, it wasn't bad. I can say my average was about 80. So, oh, yeah. about 80, but yeah. you managed to get into the program, right? Yeah, yeah. So now, uh, you decided to, to apply to universities in your grade 12. Yeah, yeah. What sparked the idea of applying uh, aeronautical engineering at Vets University? Okay, so my initial choice was to do pilot training. Um, but the thing is, there were no fundings necessarily for pilot training. So I had no interest for other degrees. I did apply to UCT, but I didn't finish up my application because of the NBT things. And also, I had interest in mechanical, but it wasn't as deep as I have for aero. So I only applied at um, UJ and Vets. So obviously for VETS, I applied for chemical, mechanical, and aeronautical engineering, which I got accepted for all of them. At UJ, I got accepted for all the degrees, but um, here I am now, so I chose aero. Aeronautical. Really. Yeah. So you, you had this love for, for... You wanted to be a pilot. Yeah, yeah. So, but you, you just that uh, now you, you just wanted to be in the aviation industry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My love for aero started a long time ago. I believe it started while I was in high school. So I usually spent my time... Um, going through um, aero stuff, like aeronautical engineering stuff, um, aerodynamics. You know, I wasn't fond of the mathematics during that time, but I was fond uh, with the concepts and um, the theory behind aerodynamics. Yeah. So I used to watch shows like Air Crash Investigation. I used to watch videos on YouTube about aircraft. You know, I had a small book, um, which I used to call like my notebook, where I write everything about aero. I used to know a couple of guys in SA Technical who, who, work, who were working with aircraft maintenance. So yeah, it was, there were people who guided me around this path. Oh, so you chose something that you, 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 you are passionate about and that you had some um, idea about it, right? Yeah. For the fact that even right now, while so you're still in high school, yeah. you're not even in that level of, of university studying it. Okay, yeah. so now you go to Vets University, right? Okay. Uh, you accepted for aeronautical engineering. How did you feel that finally you made it into the aviation industry? It's part of the aviation, aviation industry, although it's not being a pilot. How did you feel? No, I was very keen, looking forward. Like, I was com coming from Soweto, you know, I think quarter three or less type of school. Um, underprivileged, don't have all the material, and you get an opportunity to go and actually pursue something that you love. You know, it's. I was very optimistic going to first year. You know, I was, I was, I was still having a mindset that, yeah, I'm coming from my school, I'm the best in my school, so definitely I'm going to push, you know. But getting into a different verse, you get challenged by more than just academics. And I feel like one of the biggest challenges we face beyond academics is how you manage your social life. And that was my biggest challenge. But I feel like I'm... I'm doing better than I did in my first year now, hence I'm in my final year. So, yeah. 
like t tell us like how, what, what, what are the challenges that you came across as an uh, engineering student at, at Vets University studying aeronautical engineering let's go there um, so the biggest challenge was balancing my personal life my social life with academics uh, I tried to actually build a two type of a vest system in which this is my personal life and this is my academics and I having two verses cannot help me necessarily so I had to like treat my um, academic life as part of my personal life so that I can be able to actually enjoy what I'm doing while I also have some time for myself yeah. okay okay so how did you balance like make sure that you balance your academics and you balance. yes you said that you, you you treated your academic life as part of your personal life but like give us tips on how you made sure that you you are balancing I can't say there's necessarily much of a balance. I feel like everything that I do it has to has to do with academics at this point in time. You know, you, you end up not spending much time with your family because you're trying so hard to actually work with the content. There's a lot that is happening in a very short space of time and and you trying to have social life, like trying to have your own time and everything. I realize that, okay, balancing is much on, in, in my own way of saying it, it's much on, you can't necessarily forget about your academics and this is okay, this is my time, it's my self time. Always when you do something, you have to also remember that tomorrow when I wake up, I have to chow course or I have to do something. So the way I do things is that every time I have like 24 hours of the day, um, maybe eight hours at most I sleep. Um, maybe of the eight hours, I'm left with 16 hours, 16, uh, eight hours I'm at school. With the eight hours I have, I used to study, maybe two hours or more, I used to cook or maybe watch my TikToks and stuff like that. But each and every time, I just minimize time that is more social time and I maximize the rest of my time for academic um, matters. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, let's get to academics now. Which module challenged you in first year as an engineering student? Like, yeah. Um, let me see. In first year, the module that challenged me, and is the reason why I'm having five years, was applied physics. Yeah, it's, it's a module that challenged me, and unfortunately, I failed it due to some other unforeseen circumstances. Working online with Sakai system and things crashing, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's something that literally pulled me back. You know, coming with motivation and having to fail on your first day was not something easy for me to take or anyone, you know. And I wouldn't wish that for even the worst of my enemies, yeah. Okay, so you, you, you failed in your first year. Like, how did you make sure that you get out of that and you make sure that this time you are not going to fail that applied physics again? What was your mentality on that? Um, so um, I used to speak with this other um, guy who's, who's currently doing his PhD in Aero. He's in ADU, that's ADU. So I used to speak with him and I told him my problem and stuff like that. So the one thing that he told me is that, okay, no problem, you repeated the course. That's not the end of the, that's not the end of the world. It's not a train smash. But what you need to do is that you need to give that course the amount of respect it deserves. Some courses they might seem easy, but if you don't give them respect enough respect, then they will surely chow you. So I from there I took that advice that each and every course that I come into, I give it the amount of respect that it deserves. And from there I never failed a course until now. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, before we waste time and start, we just want uh, before let, let's go to what is aeronautical engineering, right? You know, uh, what's happening in there? What are you studying about? What are you focusing on, right? Because I just want a student in high school to have an idea, those who are interested in studying aeronautical engineering, to have an idea what they are putting themselves into. All right. So aeronautical engineering is more like an engineering that is in the field of fluid flows, like fluid mechanics, if I can say that. Uh, many people, they misinterpret aeronautical engineering as only dealing with aero aircraft stuff or aeroplanes. Now, aeronautical engineering has to do with everything that is both mechanical and anything that goes through fluid. So if you want to analyze a human being walking through air like, like they are doing, that's part of aeronautical engineering. Like we literally analyze people walking through air, analyzing aircraft uh, flying through air, that's still aeronautical engineering, analyzing cars, F1 cars and what sort. So aeronautical engineering is more like a field or uh, a discipline that has to do with analyzing fluid flow around bodies, if I can say that. Yeah. Like, give us a, a, a broad, like, yeah, you said you analyze the fluid mechanics and everything, like, and like, what do you, the designs, things that you design, things that you do, things that you learn, especially in your final year. Um, so Aero, in my final year, we're doing a lot of simulations and in regards to simulation, we're trying to show that our actual mechanical structure can take on the aerodynamic 
forces or aerodynamic um, aerodynamics of the uh, of the uh, um, design itself through fluid so what we do actually is study aerodynamics around the fluid which is the fluid flow around the fluid right then we, we with those um, set of instruction and data that we collect from there we go back and look into our structure and analyze our structure if it's capable of um, actually performing better with this aerodynamic analysis that we have so for instance what we can do we take maybe a drag force of a certain plate then from there this is the amount of force we have on a flat plate then we want to know if can this flat plate be able to um um, to be able to take amount, this amount of drag. So what you do, go to the structure, you analyze the structure, what type of forces am I experiencing due to this drag? So that all of those things, they come back to design. So you analyze the exterior part, then you work in uh, inwards to analyze the entire mechanics of that aircraft to make sure that it's able to perform to the atmosphere. So it's almost everything that has to do with performance in our field. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, if you want a broad uh, explanation of aeronautical engineering, uh, do your research, right? Make sure you do adequate research, and I'll try by all means to bring someone who's already in the industry of aeronautical engineering so that they can tell us more about. Man, before we close, I just want to know about your study tips. How do you study making sure that you finally come into your final year? We know some students they left the course, it's difficult, you know, others they do it in nine years, eight years at some point, right? So, like, uh, uh, what was your strategy, your studying method? Um, so, my study method is, um, usually, I mean, I have a very bad study method. It's one of the laziest, but yet working study methods. I don't set up a schedule for myself. I just work on the demand of that course for that time. So, each and every course is a certain demand it has for the week. So what I usually do is that I study notes ahead, maybe a lectures to do something. I study ahead to prepare for that, depending on the amount of content that I have to be doing for that. So, because usually in error, the content is too much. So you can't necessarily say that I'm going to study this for an hour. You might find out you're studying the same thing for three hours or more. So that's why, hence, I don't have a schedule. I just study things as they come. So if this week I have a lot, of, I have a workload, a huge workload for maybe aircraft structures, then my focus will be on aircraft structures and maybe... Um, 40% will be on other costs to make sure that I don't lag behind. So my study tip is more of work with, uh, it's more brute force, work with what you have and move forward from there. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Guys, you must apply that also. It's working for him. He's now doing final year. What can I do according to your knowledge and you're in final year? Like, what can I do when I have this qualification of aeronautical engineer? Which space or which industries can I work in? Um, when you have this um, degree you can work in automobile industry which is car manufacturing because usually on the field where you analyze fluid uh, fluid flow around cars where you design the best aerodynamic body for the car like if you look at the test Mercedes Benz you see like those how aerodynamic they are those were not mechanicals they were actually aeronauticals who designed the body itself so you can work in aircraft in uh, aircraft companies you can work in airports do aircraft analysis like to do work um, like you can do like you can do some industrial work in airports to try and optimize the, the traffic uh, uh, traffic around airports. It's not only having to do with actual mechanics itself, but also to regulate um, aircraft uh, um, traffic in, in, uh, in, in the atmosphere itself. Also, you can work in aerospace companies where they manufacture aerospace components like engines, wings and stuff. You can work also at Boeing. If you are good enough, you can work at Boeing. Um, you can work at Airbus. Boeing? Boeing is a, is a company for aircrafts, like, oh, you know, okay. Boeing 747, oh, okay. 78. Yeah, it's a very big company for aircraft. You can work at Boeing, Pratt & Whitney, where they produce engines, uh, General Electric, um, they also produce engines. You can work in the Air Force, if you are interested in that, in the, air, in the, in the aerospace field. Um, you can also work uh, probably here at VETS, if you are lucky enough. Uh, as one of the lecturers or one of the people who actually do, who, or do your research here to further your studies and produce papers. So it's not only about you working, you also pursue passion, continue with passion and also produce papers and stuff like that. So, but I feel like the most ideal place for you to work on is on the aerospace industry because you'll actually get to apply your your, your knowledge. Also CSIR does hire some aeronautical engineers um, at uh, Paramount, they do. Uh, I think also at uh, Daniel. In South Africa, they also have some aeronautical because I know one air, one aeronautical guy is working in the flight dynamics field at that side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well. Let, let's close, my brother. What can you say to first years, second years, third years uh, of aeronautical? Like uh, just uh, a brief summary. Like what can you say to them to those students who are currently in the university or studying aeronautical? Um, 
What I can say is listen to the people, your predecessors, but do not believe everything they say. You know, yeah, whatever that happened to them, it doesn't mean it will happen to you. Everyone is living their own life. So if somehow they were, uh, maybe, um, uh, maybe let's say that dynamics was too hard for them, it doesn't mean it's going to be hard for you. You just have to put in more effort, learn from their mistakes and put in more effort so that you can actually move forward. Because if you listen to people and say that, no, dynamics is too hard, or you listen to them, statics is too hard, then you'll already go to the mind with the mindset that this course is too hard. So if you work, anything is possible. I, I myself, I believe that anything through hard work and through God is very much possible. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. High school, so that we close. So our, our, stu our kids that want to study um, engineering, uh, aeronautical. They must just do their research. Don't yeah. just go there because you, 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 you want to do. Maybe you might think, maybe, maybe one you're interested in turbo machinery or turbo. Maybe you think aeronautical is linked to that field. It doesn't necessarily. So you find out you might need to do MEC. So for you to come into here, just do your research, understand what the, what the, um, what uh, aeronautical engineering is and what it actually demands from you and you must look at yourself gauge yourself am i able to take on this amount of pressure just be honest with yourself self-introspection can i take this amount of pressure can i do 13 modules in one year so those are questions that you have to ask yourself sometimes you not being able to do something doesn't mean you're weak it just says you're wise enough to know that you can't do something my brother thank you so much we wish you all the best uh, for for your final year well, like uh, eagerly waiting for your graduation, you know, so that you can be our best engineer uh, in our country, man. We, we, we appreciate having you on our channel, Gift Varsity TV. I hope students are watching and are inspired and they know that it's possible to, to, to do your quality because there are these stories of my aeronautical engineering is like this and that's this and that's this. You need to avoid that, guys, and trust yourself and make sure that you put extra uh, work you know, it's gonna uh, eventually work for you, right? Yeah. All the best, my brother. Thank you so much. Guys, don't forget to leave a nice comment and like this video and subscribe because we're on our route to 100,000 uh, subscribers. This is the only channel that matters in universities all over South Africa. I'm an African continent. Thank you.